in the UFC light heavyweight division collision. So here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Santos is five years the elder. Adesanya is two inches taller. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, no losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Thiago Mahenta Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Oh! Here we go, first round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Nice. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination. Walk out, 
to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asani. Oh, nice jab. Good punch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back. To oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Oh! Look we'll at him. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. 25 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. That lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice little shot. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Boom! Big jab. Big kick. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. To the leg kick now. That one's no good. Israel Adesanya's kick to the body. That one blocked. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Working out of that southpaw stance. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice kick there by Adesanya. He gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Adesanya. Great punch landed with so much power. Ooh, Capoeira kick from Tiago Mejeta Santos. That was his first martial art. And he has got all the weapons working here tonight. One of the best light heavyweights in the world. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Throws the right hand there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg oh, kick. Beautiful one-two punch. Adesanya gets touched by that kick to the body. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Forum. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Are you ready? You ready? Round two is underway. Good strike there by Adesanya. Big body kick land. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Adesanya's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He got him. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. So as we call on the fight stats here, DC, 68 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against Tiago Santos. Big kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. Both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful leg kick thrown. He blocks the punch. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. All right, lands a kick there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the Whoa! fight. Whoa! Back to the feet. Oh, big left. And he continues to work the body here. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. But now Adesanya mixing it up a little bit. We'll see what he can offer on the canvas. I mean, he can do it all. He's long told us that he has a great ground game. Nobody has forced him to use it yet. Let's see what he does with this position. Punch over the top. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That was a jab. How good is that right hand? Trying to hammer that lead leg. Whoa! That was crazy! All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab? Whoa! Oh, he's hurt! He's gone! It's over! It's over! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 13 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel And what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands, that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got...